À Sarajevo, on les tire comme des oiseaux. It's got personality, it's got character, it's tough as nails to eat, and it's bitter as hell. My God, is that bitter? It's really awful, to be honest with you. But they say it's good for you. The vitamin K is off the radar screen. And everyone knows that vitamin K is vitamin kale. It's got very little personality, very little character. But you know, it goes down easy, and it's really cool as hell. The vodka martini. It's really wonderful, to be honest with you. Sont les enfants en maquis. Pour quelques... One day I was working with a bunch of kale in my kitchen trying to figure out what to do with it next, and I was really in need of a cocktail. And I thought, smoothie or a booze drink? So I searched the internet high and low, and I bumped into a Dr. Oz article about a kale martini. Dr. Oz serves it at his dinner parties, which is kind of fascinating. My reaction to this superfood kale in a martini drink was, how could this possibly taste good? But being that it is a superfood, and vodka is a super booze drink, what could possibly be wrong with the combination? Kale and booze. This is what Dr. Oz serves at cocktail parties. When it comes to a kale martini, he includes the following ingredients. Two cups of spinach, two cups cucumber, one head of celery, one half inch or a teaspoon of ginger root, one bunch of parsley. This smells so good. Two apples, the juice of a lime, the juice of one half of a lemon, two and a half ounces of vodka, two cups of kale. That's it. What a mess. To prepare this kale martini, it's a very intensive, laborious process. It requires much cutting, slicing, dicing, chopping, pureeing, combining, and finally, the mixing. So in the end, when this cocktail is made, what it really, really needs is not more kale. It needs more vodka. As this tastes like a very, very good vegetable drink, it needs more booze. So as a result, we have decided two and a half more ounces is going to give it some kick. What do you think? The proof is in the pudding. Let's see what happens here. That's what I'm talking about. Now that's a good booze drink. That's a good one. That's what it needs. Four and a half ounces. Fo. One, two, three, fo. Fo and a half ounces. <laughs> that's much better. That's what I'm talking about a cocktail. You know, this has the aromatic of a freshly cut lawn. And there's nothing better and the smell of grass in the morning. And it has the appearance of um, lagoon water, dark, murky, green, and nasty. But again, it's got vodka in it, and it's got kale in it, powerhouse vegetable. Absolutely off the radar screen in various different areas of vitamins and minerals. And with all the gluten-free, vegan, vegetarian, organic, antitoxin foods, Kale really embodies a new trend of eating and awareness, which is very key and essential in our diets and our day-to-day -day routine. Would I recommend this to friends? I don't know, probably not. I'd prefer to drink vodka straight out of the bottle with a straw. By creating the concoction that is the basis of this drink and allowing it to sit in the refrigerator for perhaps two or three days, not to exceed that, the flavors really begin to bloom and explode, and the drink becomes more robust. And if it doesn't taste good on the first shot, 
just add another half a shot of vodka or your favorite booze to it. It's going to taste just delightful.